I think one of the first things is um, that there's a clear, precise documentation of what is to be taught. I go into schools and I promise you, especially the younger teachers, they don't know what they're supposed to be teaching. They don't know in terms. We have unpacked so much that our fingers are bleeding from the suitcases. And I, was, I could have kissed Vic. He's not an attractive man, but I still could have kissed him. <laughs> he didn't mention the word unpack once. Right? And I just think it was really important. The documentation needs to be based on VALS, and it needs to be a commitment across the school, a, the, the continuum across the school from prep... I'm a primary person, right? so this is simple. right? From prep to grade six, if you teach grade four, you need to know what's happening in prep, and you need to know where they're going to go to in grade six, because I'll tell you this story, I'm going to keep you here, but it's the truth. 120 top bureaucrats, 70 of them are and L's, went to the park height in January and we were in there and um, it was really interesting because on the third day we talked about the importance of data, right? Data this, data that, nap plan, nap plan, poo, you know. On the third day, in comes Daryl Fraser, my mate Daz, he brings in the grade five numeracy test and he gives it out to the 120. And they all went, uh -huh. and then he said, you've got to do it, and you have to do it under conditions. And I promise you, for a large number, it was the first time they'd ever looked in a NAPLAN test. And then they said, oh, this is pretty hard. Oh, gee, they really test you. And my view of that was, there's not a clear view. We, we, we say at the NAPLAN level, or even the VC level, we prescribe the assessment but we don't prescribe what's to be taught to meet that assessment. I reckon it's a real problem. And I know there are some schools out in Broadie who, who and one in particular, and I'll mention some names because they stayed and they need a pat. Connie Sarah and Keith McDougall at Broad Meadows have gone back, looked at what needs to be taught, and they have come up with very clear, concise statements for their teachers to work on. And it's fantastic. And it's also about the values and all that. But teachers at that school are in no doubt about where they fit into that team. I think the other thing about it is the teaching programs are not left to the idiosyncratic views of individuals. I'll give you an example. At one of the schools, uh, the principal's gone, but I, I, I went and did a visit there, and she had an issue with the teaching of maths, because what would happen is, this is a high-performing school, the problem with maths was that if they dropped something off the timetable, they dropped maths off, and maths was down in the bottom. And so what the decision was made, and it's a leadership decision to say, we'll do five hours of maths, it's not negotiable, we'll do an hour every day, and she moved it in the timetable to a key part of the day. And so those people who mightn't have thought, oh, maths is not important, that decision making was moved out because it is, is important, and it had a huge effect upon that school. The next one I talk about is that the leadership team is out of the office by 10 a.m. and in the classrooms. Now, when I was a young teacher, in the 1970s, that meant the principal was up the pub. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't get a laugh. Keith Miller told me to say that. The truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is that you need to, it's, it's a symbolic statement, right? You need to be out in your classrooms working with your kids, talking to your kids and, talk, and seeing what your teacher's doing and being in there. And I reckon in the beginning, it's not about going in there and assessing their teaching, it's about being in there, being beside them and talking to the kids and seeing what they're on about. And I think it's crucial if you're going to be a principal and you are a principal or a learning leader, you've got to be in classrooms and not as the big boss continually writing reports but working beside people because you get an idea of where your kids are actually at.